Hi, I'm Annie. And I'm Sam. And welcome to Large Plays. And there's a fly on the camera. Yes. <laughs> that is actually a fly on the camera. And today, well, and today we're talking about Beast. Beast. Because uh, there's there's a Kickstarter live right now um, for the expansion, and um, we're going to try appeal to the algorithm because whenever people search up Beast, we'll go <gasps> right up in their their news feed, news feed, YouTube feed. Yeah. And they'll have to watch us. Yeah, they'll so if, have if to. If that's please. happened to you, you're trapped now. Yeah, there's no going back. What is Beast? Beast is a one versus many game where one player will be the beast and will be secretly moving around the board trying to kill um, citizens, sheep, sheep, boars um, and all that type of stuff um and all the other players are hunters you have to try and track them down and kill it and kill it um the um beast will move with um certain cards that the beast has which will denote where um which direction they're going in and they'll place them face down on track on the board yep and then they'll ha they have their own little secret board where they put a little marker on so they know where they've been and where they are to help them track where they're going yeah yeah um so it's all it's all very um hush 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 yeah <laughs> it is all very yeah and the uh the wrinkle is that the for, for the beast to be able to actually kill things it has to reveal itself which you probably don't want to do near the hunters because the hunters are yeah. waiting for you to reveal yourself so they can jump and attack you because they can't yeah. attack you unless they know you where you are yeah it can be a bit um risk versus reward in that sense yeah. that you know, you get rewards for killing things, but also you don't want to reveal yourself near the hunters because they'll they'll jump on you, you and you, they'll yeah. kill you. Yeah, they'll kill you. They'll kill you dead. Uh, the game is played across generally three rounds, three days. Yes. Um, in the first phase uh, is the dawn phase, where you go through a a, a cycle of card drafting. Um, so there's it's it's got this element of card drafting. There's everyone's got their own unique cards that that give their own asymmetric yeah capabilities. Start with three, right? I think it's three. Three right? for hunters, yeah. four for beasts. Yeah. Um, but there's a uh, pool of shared action cards yeah. that every player goes around and drafts from. Yes. Um, and the top ability is for hunters. The bottom ability is for beasts, and it opens up this interesting way for. A degree of hate drafting because you can yeah. see what you can see what you're going to be passing along to the opponents, and you're like, yeah, do I really want that? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you're like, the top ability isn't the best in the world, but the beast ability is so good, I do not want the beast to have it, so I will keep it. Even yeah, I will keep it for myself just so to stop the beast, or in the beast case, the hunter from having it. Yeah, I mean, I actually, I quite like drafting as a mechanic. Um, yeah, I don't think you do. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of drafting games, but I don't mind games that have a drafting element. Yeah, like, if it's like not... Inish is great. Oh, I love Inish. I, I, I really like Inish because of the drafting, in, in large part. Um, but I'm not too keen on Bunny Kingdom because it's all drafting. Yeah, I mean... I see I don't mind drafting when if it is the main element either um just because I just, just you know I mean Bunny Kingdom is I love Bunny Kingdom so yeah take that as you will but I mean I also don't mind if it's just a a, a singular kind <laughs> of like element in the game um because I know I know you prefer it if it's not the the um i don't like it being the whole game yeah yeah um and then you go into the the day phase where you you go around taking turns playing cards you can play up to two cards in general um but the cards they're like there's a symbol in the middle of the card and they denote and where how they can be paired so you've got red cards and you've got blue cards and you can't play two blue cards you, you can't, can't play, play two red no. but you can play a red and slash or a blue 
Yes. So it's about pairing up the different types of action cards you can do. Um, there's also the hunters also have item cards and the beast also has talent cards. Yes. So you can end up with a really which like one shot one use throwaway cards. But it means that you have there's so many tools and options available to you. Yeah, there there is. The the hunters have watchtowers they can place down, and they have traps they can place down. the The beast has summons that they can bring onto the board and move around and get and to do stuff. Uh, during the night phase, is when you basically gain your end of day rewards because every day yeah. there's there's rewards at the end for achieving certain goals. Yeah, like one of them is. For the hunters, if the beast hasn't killed any townsfolk or settlers or whatever, the hunters get a reward and yours and the beasts is sometimes if you've killed so many animals, they get a reward. And it's usually in the form of, um, oh, what's it called? Not favour. Grudges. Grudges. Yes, it's normally in the form of um, grudges, which are little um, coins. And then you can use those to upgrade in the night phase as well. Yep. Um, and yeah, you every uh, player, both beasts and hunters, have their own little player board with their own asymmetric abilities that they can unlock by spending grudges. And then, so they upgrade and they get all these powers and abilities that they can use in later rounds. Yeah, um, which is always good because I love, I love the ability to upgrade in games um, to actually be able to better your character and yourself so yeah um the the win conditions can vary a lot as well that is very true because there's different contracts you can take for different player counts as well there's like two yeah. for two for two to three players and two for four players and then there's custom contracts that are on the website and stuff as well i didn't play that yeah yeah that's cool it's like print and play kind of thing sort of yeah um i have ordered a little book of them in the news kickstarter <laughs> oh did not know that so if you're interested I'm not, I don't know why I'm plugging the Kickstarter. We're not Kickstarter coverers. We're not getting paid to do this. I don't care. No, we're backing it anyway. Do what you like. Yeah, yeah we're, we're backing it anyway. Besides the point, anyway. <laughs> yes, anyway. Oh, also, you can, you um, in the night phase, um, you also can heal your character. Yeah, so, so uh, any damage the beast has caused that round but hasn't killed will heal back up and any hunters that have been killed will respawn on the board. So there's no, there's no elimination. Yeah. Uh, if you get killed as a hunter, you will come straight back anyway. And if the, you, you get killed as the beast, that's the end of the game. Yeah, if you get so... killed as the beast, then you're screwed, basically. Don't yeah, that's it. Win. That's the end. So, yeah. And it's just the bounce, like, for the hunt. The hunters is just surviving all three nights. Can uh, be. Can well, it, de be. it depends on the scenario. Uh, yeah, it yeah. does depend on the scenario. Um, and there are also loads of different beasts... Oh yeah, there's, uh, there's what six hunters yeah. to choose from. Yeah, and there's five beasts, I think. There's um, there's Bolgin, Fangrir, Hogbad, Esmeria, and Mara. Yeah. Hey, I did that all off the top of yeah. my head. I wasn't. I wouldn't be able to do. I that. haven't played all of them yet, though, so I can't no. comment on all of them. But they are all wildly different. Like they Ho are. Hogbad yeah. is is like a giant pig. Um, who just stampedes through the place and takes things with him and stuff. Uh, Bolgin is like a toad who has uh, like a, a tongue that <laughs> grabs things. Um, I can't really remember Fangrir's thing. Maybe it was very summon heavy. I would imagine it would yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. It's like the werewolf. Yeah, the wolf. Yeah, the yeah, big yeah. Wolf yeah. mother. Yeah. But yeah, and they're all very, very different with their abilities and their upgrades and everything. As so well. there's loads of replayability in this. There's so I mean, much there's there's multiple there's multiple contracts. There's uh, multiple beasts. There's multiple hunters. The the combinations are almost endless. And there's there's loads of items and talents and that are completely randomised. And you're never going to get through the those whole decks in a single game anyway. Oh gosh, no. There's so many. Um, but yeah. I mean, the items can be very, very clutch sometimes. Um, there's traps, which you put down and to basically ensnare the beast when they get to a certain point on the map, like bombs. That's always fun. There's um, things that do damage to the beast. Um, yeah. So it's a very... It's You've a, got your own beast on your lap. I have got... Sorry. I've got my cat. I've got our cat on my lap. 
and yeah he wanted to join in the video i think so um yeah um, what do you think about the the production i th right this is studio midhall's first game first and only game so far so far and i think the production is like really really good for yeah. especially for a first time um, what, what is it you like so much about it i i'm gonna talk about the artwork it's always the artwork with you isn't it uh, yes i'm an artiste <laughs> don't you know um <laughs> no i absolutely love the artwork but not just that okay so i normally absolutely love miniatures in games we're very miniature we love you know miniatures or not what stuff but this game came with um standees didn't it? it didn't have the option for miniatures when we backed it no they were they're, they're doing they're doing miniatures in the new kickstarter we'll talk about that later yeah um but they it, the standard edition comes with these cardboard standees but we uh went for the acrylic standees which are which are oh, they are nice. so good and normally nice. normally i'd be like i hate standees i hate standees but these standees are they are so so good quality they're sturdy we're definitely standy are... haters yeah we normally yeah we normally but like but if any game could convert me it, it's beast. yeah yeah because the art is gorgeous and it's applied perfectly and because they're acrylic they're nice and see-through so you're not blocking anything and there's no wasted artwork or horrible borders or anything like that it, it, it just looks really nice on yeah, the board yeah they do look really nice and just 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 the whole production really you know the kind of art on the board the the high quality um wooden meeples the which coin... is screen printed as well yeah yeah exactly and um the coins for the grudges and just everything is just the production is just such high quality i mean what's your favorite part of the production um, well, they they really went all out. I mean, the 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 board has spot UV on it, so it, it it's shining in the light right now from my view. Um, How did I not notice? Yeah, the I mean, awesome. keep in mind we got the deluxe Kickstarter version, so the acrylic standees are really nice. But the you know the the meeples are standard. Um, there's the 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 board is the the sideboard for the beast is standard. I think I think dual layered might even be standard. Oh, I All do the boards love... are dual layered, yeah. which I think, if I remember correctly, is, is standard as well. Um, yeah. But because we got the case, we got like the extra like uh, art on the beast screens and stuff, and we got the metal coins, um, and we got some upgraded tokens like the the watchtowers are acrylic standees, and the I can't remember what the power sword things are also. Uh, acrylic as well yeah and then, uh, it's really yeah it's such yeah. high quality yeah it's, it is really good um i do have some criticism about the production though okay um Give the board me. is too small y yeah i yeah like i like the spaces on the board is too small and the board itself could have been sized up because it doesn't even it, it doesn't even take up the whole width width and length of the box so they could have sort like scaled up the whole board um and including the the spaces so you could fit more on it because sometimes sometimes you've got the the beast marking its last known location two hunters or more some summons and a watchtower and a, and a wooden meeple all crowded on this tiny little space it's tiny yeah yeah it can get a bit of like an overcrowding situation and that that ultimately is why we haven't gone for the miniatures in the new kickstarter we're sticking yeah. with the standees because 3d miniatures would be lovely but on a board that's so way too compressed they'd be way too big it would be too cluttered you would too yeah much. but i mean the the miniatures do look fantastic from the renders and from the prototypes but we just it would just be on this board it'd just be way too it's sometimes too much with the standees on the you know when you've got more than one kind of on a the cards okay. are a bit cheap feeling as well and flimsy but i mean okay. we we've sleeved them so we don't notice that yeah that's true yeah we pretty much sleeve all of our games so yeah so yeah we didn't notice that but they are a bit i wouldn't i wouldn't want to use them without sleeves they i feel like they wear really quickly yeah possibly. and seeing as it's all drafted and stuff yeah you don't, want the, you, the... you don't want the cards getting marked 
Because then you'd sort of know what's going around the table just by looking at the backs yeah, of cards. Like, that's mm, a good point, actually. Uh, yeah, that's a, I didn't think about that. That's yeah. a really good point. Uh, yeah. Oh, and the insert is terrible. I've been that immediately. I didn't. But I mean, that's that's extraneous. That's long gone. I I bagged it all up anyway. I didn't, I didn't see what the insert looked like. Oh, it's like. awful. It, it, well, it didn't fit sleeve cards, even though they sold sleeves with it. <laughs> Those sleeves were also awful. Um, I I haven't quite been them, but I don't use them. They're just in a drawer somewhere, waiting for a in a pouch. In a pouch. Do they have like? A, do they have the beast artwork on them? And stuff? Yeah, but that that sort of got in the way of the backs of the card artwork. Yeah, like it didn't meld together well either. So eh. well, I was gonna say it's not like you can use them for like different games. Then no, you can't. You can't that. reuse them. I wouldn't want to reuse them. They were the thin, flimsy penny sleeves type. No, like, ugh, gross. <laughs> like if you're going to go penny sleeves, just don't sleeve at all. You know. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Anything else you want to say about Beast? Anything you you dislike about Beast? Okay, right. So the thing I dislike about Beast. And I don't really think this is a beef problem. I think this is a me problem. Um, I really, really struck. This is a game that can get quite thinky for me, at least. Which I um, think is great. Yeah, yeah. Last night we were playing. Um, Gareth and I were the hunters, and you were the beast. And you were just, you were just sat there smiling smugly to yourself. Yeah, the first day. Second day, I was there like quaking in my boots because they were getting closer and closer yeah. with every move and i was like well i'm not gonna be able to do anything at this rate and i'm i need certain things to happen it's a very tight game like it can be a really tight game be. really yeah. tight if you don't plan it ahead and judge uh, correctly it can all fall apart i think as hunters we were like a, like a turn or two away from defeating you but no you got that first i i do also want to point out that i'm not entirely sure it's balanced i feel like there are there are some contracts that favor the beast and some contracts that favor yeah the yeah no i feel that i feel that but i well while, while that is generally a negative i actually kind of think that's a positive because if if there's if there's a native imbalance between player skill between the beasts and the hunters you just pick a a contract that benefits whoever's not as not quite as up to speed, I guess. Which would be me. Yep. No, seriously, I, I I absolutely love this game, but I I just really struggle with it because my brain doesn't, my brain can't think at like two three turns ahead. Um. Yeah. I just I just and like with the logistics of like moving and stuff. If with with if you're the hunter and you know you play you're obviously beast. Um. And you make one wrong guess in your head as to where they've gone, it can completely set everything back because you then you're just like you think, oh, you're definitely there, but you know it's not. And the actions on the cards can be really limited. Like, there's only so many attacks and only so many yeah. moves. If you make one error, that could that basically costs you the day. It can yeah. be like yeah. Yeah, and because it's only played over, it's only played over three days. That's huge. Loses, That's a third yeah. of the game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It can it, be, it can be really, really tight. Yeah, but I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's it's one of those games that I keep wanting to play so I can get better and add, and also to kind of like get better at it, and then also be able to transplant the logic I've learned from this to other games which have similar mechanics. That's a, that's a good thing, actually. I was going to mention, what other games would you associate with Beast? Like, if you like these other games, you might also like Beast, kind of. Oh, gosh. Beast is a game for fans of... Inish, maybe? Inish, yeah. I think Inish, Inish is a good one. Inish. Maybe uh, Fury of Dracula. We've not played that, but that's way more hidden movement than this is. Yes, yes. Um, I don't know if I've heard of that one. Hmm. It's like the hidden movement game. Okay. okay. Uh, on that note, Ashley, um, I've heard good buzz about mind management as well. I've heard really good things about mind management. Um, I've, I, mind management and beast often gets mentioned in the same sentence, so I'm mentioning it in the same sentence. Because bandwagon. <laughs> so that was that was beast. Yeah. 
hopefully a succinct enough overview and a nice little brief thoughts, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it is It is a really good game. And as I said, Studio Mid Hall's first and only. Um, and they're live on Kickstarter right now. So if yeah. you wanted, wanted to grab Beast, you can grab it right now in the new Kickstarter. You can get an expansion. If you want the minis, you can get the minis. And they've got loads of upgrades. They've got sleeves and art books and acrylic standees and just loads absolutely loads but just so you know if you if you know if you can't if you don't you know if you're worried about the size of them the um minis and stuff the acrylic standees are actually i would recommend the acrylic yeah, standees they but are actually, to each their own you know um yeah yeah so that has been beast this is a game we quite like yes we, we, we definitely fall, fall more positive than negative on it yeah, definitely. We need to... But it's not a perfect game. It's not like... It's not in my top ten or anything. No. Nowhere near. It but has its flaws, but... It... I do thoroughly enjoy it. Yes. Definitely. Yes. I very, very, very much... Enjoy. If you've played Beast, let us know what you think of Beast. Yeah. Or if you haven't, like, played Beast, let us know if you want to or not. If this is... Has this enticed you or not? I don't know. Yeah, if you've got any questions about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer in the comments, obviously. As to the best of my ability. I'm not a pro or anything. Otherwise, we'll just link you to the FAQ or something. <laughs> yeah. Just be like, we don't know. Here you go. Anyway, thank, thanks for watching. Yeah, we've been large plays. And this was Beast. Beast.